What do you want? Have you ever wondered what happens at a cellular level when you eat something? No. Well, you're about to find out. What? It all begins in the brain. In order for food to get to your stomach, your brain needs to send a signal to eat. This is where neurons come in. Neurons are long cells that use electrochemical reactions to send information. A neuron's membrane, or outer layer, is made of a double layer of phospholipids, also known as the lipid bilayer. This bilayer allows some things, like water, to pass through freely, while stopping larger molecules from passing. Larger molecules need to pass through proteins scattered throughout the membrane. Proteins can be for a specific molecule or for general use. When an electrical pulse is passed through the neuron, the proteins will either open or close depending on the signal and the protein's function. What does this have to do with eating? Well, it's how your food gets to your stomach. But what about when it gets there? When food reaches the stomach, it still needs to be broken down into something your cells can use. This is where enzymes come in. Enzymes are little proteins that have a specific shape that allows it to bond to another molecule. This catalyzes or causes a reaction to occur, changing the molecule in some way. The enzyme, having finished its job, leaves unchanged. Now the molecule moves to the small intestine where it gets absorbed into your cells. Well, how does that work? In order to enter the cells, molecules are engulfed by the cell membrane in a process called endocytosis. Once the molecule enters the cell, it gets broken down into usable molecules by enzymes. These are then fed into a variety of processes, such as the Krebs cycle, which produces ATP. Any remaining waste products are then cast out of the cell, for they are no longer needed. Well, what happens to the waste products?